I'm cooking some dinner right now. We're having breakfast for dinner, which is burning because I'm getting distracted. I'm cooking dinner. Tobias, stay away from the stove. And Tobias is looking out the window. Oh God. Tobias is looking out the window, so I look out there and there's a bunny. And it's the same bunny that, you know, um, was building a nest earlier before. And I look down there and I'm like, oh, maybe she's having her babies. And she's already got two babies that I can see. At least I did see them just a second ago before I went over there to flip my food. Now I don't see them poking out of the ground. But I look down there and the rabbit is sitting there and it looks like she's getting ready to maybe like push out another baby. Like the way she was acting, like she was um, kind of just like contorting her body really weird. And right when she's doing that, these two little dogs come out of nowhere and chase her off. I've never seen these dogs before in my life. They're like little rat terriers, two of them. And they chased her off. And they were going fast. And sh if she's like in labor right now, she's probably not gonna be able to outrun them. So now I'm worried that like, she's in the middle of trying to have babies. She's already got a couple of them down there. I see some moving around. So there's some babies in there. <sighs> I hope they didn't catch her. That's terrible. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep watching over here to see if she comes back. I hope she got away from them. I mean, if she's in the middle of having babies, I'm like, ugh. if she has a baby somewhere else, will she bring it over here with the rest of her nest? I don't know. God, that makes me mad. Those little sh dogs. Where did they come from? Oh, people letting their dogs run loose. Well, it doesn't look like um, that rabbit ever came back. I set up a time lapse, you know, to catch it if it ever did come back and I could carry on about my business. And I finished cooking, we ate dinner, I finished uploading a video, we did a bunch of other stuff, and I checked the footage, she never came back, and another hour, hour and a half has passed now and I looked out there and she's not out there. So I'll look tomorrow. I hope the babies stay in, in their little nest and I mean, they're hardly old enough to be wandering off, but I hope nothing gets them in the night for one. And if I don't see her anywhere tomorrow, then I might go and get the babies and try to, try to take care of them. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just call somebody to come and get them. I don't know. Either way, so pissed at those freaking dogs. I've literally never seen those dogs in my life. I've never seen them loose. Like I've never even seen them walking around with a person, but I've definitely never seen them loose. And now this one moment they're loose and they chase off my rabbit. I just hope she got away. Stupid dogs. going to say is we checked on the baby bunnies this morning and they're still there there's two in there that I can see I'm pretty sure it's just two they are definitely like just born because you know they still have their eyes closed and everything um I tried to like record the ground last night when we went to bed because I thought if I had my camera set at a certain setting it would naturally adjust to the dark upon reviewing the footage there was nothing that i saw i didn't see you know the mom rabbit come back at all do tobias stop please okay cut it out cut it out the rabbits uh i don't know if their mom is still alive or not or if maybe she'll just abandon that area because i read that the mother rabbit will not hang around the babies in the daytime like at all to deter predators from going over there and i said that ain't nothing you want cut it out so it would be very normal for the mom to not come back during the day at all especially if a predator had just chased her off and you know she doesn't want them going back to the nest so i could understand her avo avoiding the nest then so i'm going to keep watching 
because who knows, maybe like she'd even avoid for a couple of days or something. But I can't imagine they can live too long without something to eat, but they're too young to eat, you know, solid food. So I don't know. But the more research I did on it, cause I was like, I have a rabbit, she's a female. You know, some animals will like, you know, like adopt other, other babies. I was like, well maybe Clover would allow them in her cage and would like mother them or something like that. Um, I didn't do too much research on someone trying to do that, but upon the stuff that I did read, which was rabbits in the wild, you know, can carry diseases and stuff like that, obviously. And very often they have fleas and stuff like that. So I don't want to take any chances bringing them in the house and hurting my animals. So if it comes to it and the mother never comes back, I'm just gonna have to like let nature take its course and just leave them alone and just let them die, I guess. I don't know. No, I could call somebody. I could call like a shelter or something and see if they drive out here and get them. I just don't know at this point. But I hope that mom comes back. I hope she got away and I hope she comes back because by now I'm sure she's had her other babies. So she's probably caring for them somewhere right now, unless she does what other um, animal mothers do in the wild, which is leave their young behind so that they can get away. Maybe that's how she got away from the dogs. I don't, I don't know. We'll find out. I'll just watch it. I'll just watch and see what happens. We still haven't uh, seen any sign of any kind of rabbit whatsoever out there, but we are going to set the camera up again now that it's, you know, turning dusk, the sun's gonna be going down, and hopefully, because the sun's going down, maybe she might show up. big brat. No. He's been a brat all day. No. He's a brat every day. No. No, no, no. He's freaking out because I have no. some food in my hands. That's all. No. <laughs> Peach. Why'd you spit it out? Yeah. Put it back in here then. Okay, you don't want them then. Na na na. Na na na. Squirrel? <laughs> you trying to sneak up? What are you doing? Are you hot? You trying to cool off? <laughs> I don't know what that squirrel's doing. Let's go check on the baby birds. Oh man, it's hot 
hot up here. Today is a really hot day. I didn't think about turning the air on early or, you know, just having the air on nonstop. Yeah, I didn't think about the fact that it's just gonna be so hot today. I might as well just keep the air conditioner going upstairs all day long, but I didn't. It is now like, I don't know, it's probably close to six maybe right now. I was right, just a little after six. And, oh man. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's hot, bye-bye. Still been keeping an eye on those baby bunnies. Still have yet to see a mother at all. Still just two babies in the nest, so. I don't know. I read up on how to take care of them and all, but I can't do nothing. Not when I know they're out there. <sighs> checked on the babies this morning and this was gonna be like my last time to check on them before I decided like what to do to see if you know they needed help one of the things you can test is to see if they're dehydrated and the way that you test is you pinch the back of their neck to see if their skin is springy so I did and it seemed like it was so I was like okay even though I've been watching this nest like a hawk she must be like slipping in the moment I turn my back or something I'm like okay I'll just I'll leave them alone and we're in here making oatmeal and I turn and look she's out there she's out there oh, it makes me so happy mostly because it's a load off my back because now I know I don't need to watch the nest constantly now to see if she shows up because she showed up Bill's mowing out there now though I don't know if I missed her nursing them she might have already nursed them and she was done or she was just now coming up but Bill's out there mowing hopefully that's not like chasing her away or something I don't I don't think so though she knows what she's doing she got away from them dogs everything's fine <sighs> gonna finish feeding my own baby now trying to keep it cool up here is almost impossible but today I decided to just let the air conditioner run literally all day long from this morning you know when we got up I just left the air conditioner on, let it go. And it's still blistering hot up here. I was gonna do some cleaning, but it's literally so hot up here. I'd just rather not, you know? Tomorrow starts Bill's weekend. Today is Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, everyone. It's long past, I know, but happy late Father's Day. Or if you're watching this in the future, on another Father's Day, what are the, what are the chances, you know? You must be looking at Father's Day videos. Are you lonely? Don't leave this in here. Did you mentioned what Bill's Father's Day gift was. God, I know I must have mentioned it. For the past couple of days, I had Tobias work on this little painting for Bill. The first day, I gave him like six different colors, 
but I guess the most prominent color was green, like a couple different greens, because it turned into like just one big green thing. And then it dried for a day, and I had Tobias put his handprint in it after that. And then I gave it to Bill last night when he got home from work at like two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and he really liked it, so. This uh, couch keeps blocking off this vent because the foot sits right on the little lever to close it. So I open it every single day and it closes probably within a few minutes. It just, who cares? Good night. So carry on.